Back again with the DJI Flip. This time I'm looking at the parallel charging hub. At the time that I got the drone, this was the only option available for charging the battery. Obviously you do really need a charger because you'll be stuck charging the battery in the drone. So I thought we'd do a very quick video on this. I'll just give you a quick visual tour and unboxing. It's pretty straightforward. Four bay charger. We have the indicators on each of the bays, one to four levels. This is the official one from DJI. It goes for around about 45 euros. On the side we have the power button and a type C charging port. Batteries click into place exactly as they do on the drone, so there's no worries about batteries falling out of the charger. If you want to check the battery level, just press the button quickly on the side and then you'll see the indicators come up just to show you how much charge is in the battery. There is an option where the highest charge battery can be charged by the other batteries. That makes that available to use quickly and you don't need to attach it to anything. You just push and hold that button in. They also have a power bank function, so just connect it to a device. Again, push and hold that button in for three seconds to start that. It doesn't give you any indication on the charger how low the batteries are, but it does have an automatic voltage cutoff, so you won't fully discharge the batteries. The battery that gets charged first is the one that has the most power, and that makes sense in many ways. The problem with this charger is to get the simultaneous charging. It's really quite difficult because there are some limitations in terms of the voltage and amps that you need. I tried many different outputs, including power banks. The power station that I looked at recently, that very big one from All Powers, I've got separate chargers with Type C charging, which are also suitable and powerful enough to charge things like MacBooks. The problem is when I tried different devices I was only able to get up to just under 50 watts output and you need 65 watts or higher output to get that simultaneous charging on two bays. You need to be able to get 15 volts which isn't a problem but the 4.3 amps is a problem. Typically chargers would be outputting 3 amps at 15 volts. What that means is you're unlikely to be able to find a charger that will work with this other than the official DJI ones. And they also have a car charger. There are some third party ones that have come out since I got the drone, so that might be an option. Some of those are saying that they do offer simultaneous charging at a lower output. I think that's a limitation which DJI have created. I just think it would make a lot more sense to have a USB-C port directly on the battery for charging. That way you'd be able to charge multiple batteries at the same time without any specific problems or limitations with adapters and amps and voltages. I don't need the simultaneous charging myself, but I think some people might find it useful. If you've got any thoughts on this, do drop a comment down below. I haven't used any of those third-party chargers, but if you have, it'd be interesting to hear what you think of them and I hope to see you in some of my future videos.